Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video on our channel and in this video we are going to talk regarding the Take Mahindra Super Coder Hiring Challenge and you all know that in my previous videos I have posted regarding the hiring and also we post different different multiple hirings and one of the most important mass hiring for a higher CDC role was this Take Mahindra Super Coder Hiring and the results for the first round is already out I have already posted that also two days ago and in that video people were asking me to post uh, how to prepare for the coding round and how to prepare for the second round so we are going to talk about that next uh, stage or the next round of the super coder hiring in this video about the take mahindra super coder coding round so first of all we have to understand that this is not only a coding round okay they have mentioned there is going to be advanced aptitude and coding both so you have to give importance to both of these okay you, if you are thinking that you will only uh, prepare for coding and you will leave all the aptitude questions and you are got selected that is not going to happen because you have to give uh, equal uh, weightage or equal attention to both of these so i'm going to discuss both of these but before moving on if you are new to our channel make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram from the description box link for any discussions related to this and also make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post different hiring, onboarding, exam and interview related or also industry related different different updates regularly. Make sure not to miss out. So first of all, let's see what is the aptitude and advanced aptitude is. Okay, so aptitude rounds you have already cleared. Okay, those who are going for the coding now, you have already cleared the aptitude rounds. If you uh, forgot the questions or if you want to see like what type of questions uh, there was in the other SIPs, you can check my video i have already posted a detailed uh, question answer and solution uh, video for the aptitude round i will give that link in the description you can check from there but this time the aptitudes are going to be a bit advanced than that okay this time aptitude is going to be not so much easy so by advanced aptitude what uh, they are uh, trying to say so there are going to be some advanced topic in the aptitude part you can expect like permutation combination probability questions geometry coordinate geometry questions might be there okay and also from arithmetic and algebra you can expect a bit more calculative questions this is just for the uh, quants part similarly there will be a bit more tougher uh, grammatical questions in the english part and also a bit more tougher questions in the reasoning part okay so they have not declared how many questions or how many aptitude questions or how many coding questions will be there yet okay so you can prepare uh, for whatever they might give if i get to know about it i'll surely make an update another video on that particular process about how many questions you can expect for each particular part so that is for the latter if we get to know i will surely update but next uh, is going to be coding questions so i will tell you also how to prepare for the coding questions first so, so first of all uh, for coding questions you do not have to worry too much because there are not going to be any hard coding questions but there are not going to be any easy coding questions as well okay the coding questions level is going to be intermediate level okay you can expect like a hacker rank uh, medium to hard level questions you can expect also from hacker earth and geeks for geeks also you can expect but from which topic you should practice so mainly your main focus should be on uh, array strings digits these things okay this is going to be your main focus the uh, main majority of the questions is going to be based on these things so if you try and practice hard and medium level coding questions okay uh, try to practice hard and medium level coding questions from the uh, hacker rank hacker at geeks for geeks these coding platforms you can go and check and there is an option for selecting difficulty you can uh, easily select medium and hard level coding questions from their difficulty and you can also select topic wise uh, in that uh, particular like hacker rank you can select topics and you can practice topic wise coding questions as well so i will suggest do that okay so make sure to practice especially the array and uh, string based coding questions and also also like digit based number based coding questions as well there is a good chance of uh, almost uh, like 75-50% coding questions will be based on these. So that's it and also I can give you some examples like suppose uh, if there is an easy coding questions I can remember from previous year is going to be like uh, there was a huge number given and they might ask you to give the sum of the odd digits or sum of the even digits like that. So first of all you have to traverse the whole number by one digit and one digit like that. So if you have done basic codings, you know 
if you done basic coding so you know how to uh, get one by one digits of from a number so you have to use the while loop while num greater than zero and uh, like you have to use the modulus operator and get the last digit then uh, you have to uh, first of all if uh, if suppose the question is if it is uh, odd uh, even number you have to give the sum of the even numbers so you have to then uh, use a if block you have to see if it is an even number or not if it is an even number then you have to add it to the sum value and then you have to divide the number by 10 because one digit is done and you have to go for the next digit so you have to uh, divide the number by 10 and store it as, as the number new number so that's how the code will go okay so this is one type of questions there might be other different different dish type of questions also like there might be some array given they might ask you to give the distinct number from the array okay like how, what are the distinct number in the array so you can use that uh, as by using a um, dictionary set many ways you can do that so you can use uh, the best way to do is is going to be a uh, using a hash set but uh, for the correct answer you have to use the linked hash set uh, so that it, the order does not get changed there are other ways also you can use a hash map or a map as well so that's how you can do it and you can expect this type of array based uh, number digits based and also string based question might be there so for except like uh, suppose some string is given and you have to count uh, how many times a particular digit is repeated in that particular string okay so like that you might have to uh, give a code or something these type of different different questions you can expect so that's it and that's how you can prepare for the coding questions you have to go and check uh, the hacker rank medium and hacker rank uh, hard level coding questions hacker earth also medium to hard level and greeks for greeks you can get from there also medium to hard level coding questions i will suggest there is not too much time three four days max you can expect so i will suggest try uh, preparing for the array and then the uh, this string these things first and don't worry about the um, like this is going to be too tough or, or not because uh, this this is not going to be a lead code level coding okay uh, maximum lead code easy level you can expect but not it is not going to be above or more than lead code medium level and all so don't have to worry about that too much like this is just a service based company uh, this is we're not going to give exam for a product based company so you don't have to worry about the coding questions level too much but you have to have some preparation because this is not going to be either easy nor hard this is going to be moderate level intermediate level you can expect nothing more or nothing less than that okay and if you want to clear this particular super coder round i will suggest keep preparing from now okay don't take it too lightly and also do not panic that it is going to be too hard and once you clear this there is next rounds are also there uh, you have to prepare for the interview as well so uh, that is uh, far now this is not going to be too soon uh, because uh, interviews also they will not take everyone as um, like soon enough they will take in batches they will not send everyone uh, at once so after just giving the coding round i i know many of you guys that will keep commenting i have given my exam is this slot should i wait or should i give up or should um, this is going to be result coming or not these type of things you are going to uh, comment and all do not i'll suggest do not worry about these things because uh, interviews that happen in very small batches and also once after the coding is done i will make detailed interview preparation round video as well one first give the coding assessment uh, your hundred percent only focus on the coding assessment for now don't worry about the interview and all okay you have to prepare for the coding assessment now and also don't avoid or don't ignore the practicing uh, advanced level aptitude questions okay because that is also going to be a game changer for you guys okay because many people will ignore that particular aptitude part okay because it is clearly mentioned advanced aptitude and coding questions so that's it if you have any other queries regarding this take mind the super coder hiring or coding challenge or this round you can comment down or you can comment in our uh, telecom group as well regarding this so if you have any other queries make sure to comment down